Hey everybody, welcome back to another midweek devotional here at Faith Assembly of God. And I hope you're enjoying these videos. If you are, make sure you give us a thumbs up, like, subscribe, share these things. Um, we really appreciate the feedback we've been getting on them, so thank you for that. Uh, but today we're going to be looking at Ephesians chapter 4, verses 1 through 3, and we're going to focus specifically on verse 2. It reads, Therefore I, the prisoner in the Lord, this is Paul, this is a prison epistle, he's writing from prison. He says, I urge you to walk worthy of the calling you have received, with all humility and gentleness, with patience, bearing with one another in love, making every effort to keep the unity of the Spirit through the bond of peace. Paul always is concerned about the unity of the church. And the reason is, as churches grow, division creeps in so easily. But today, we're, we're looking at specifically prayer in these midweek devotionals. And one thing that constantly keeps coming up is humility. And so once again, we're looking at humility because it is vital to our prayer life. Humility in the walk of the Christian, walking worthy, the, the idea of humility is so important because without humility, we, we tend to put ourselves higher than other people. We tend to put ourselves first. We puff ourselves up. And that's not the way of the Christian. That's not Christ-like. Christ was the most humble person who ever uh, walked the face of the earth. He was the most humble man because he was God in the flesh. And he shows us what humility truly looks like as he submits to the Father's will. Now, I know for myself, humility is a struggle. Uh, in fact, I, I actually, a lot of people don't know this. I used to have a parody Twitter account um, where the running joke was, I was the most humblest person, the most humblest of all Christians. But it was just that. It was a joke. Uh, even in my personal life, I know God sees right through our false humility. And it chokes our walk with him. It definitely chokes to death our prayer life. It destroys our witness. Yeah. It makes us appear self-righteous, definitely. But what it does internally to our prayer life cannot be understated. Arrogance kills, pride kills our prayer life. Being unhumble, inhumble, I don't know the right way to say that. Not being humble will thwart your prayer life. As E.M. Bounds, who wrote the devotional that we're doing our, our series out of, he says it like this, humility does not have eyes on itself, but rather on God and others. God puts a price on humility of heart. That which brings a soul near to God is humility of heart. In other words, if Red Bull gives you wings, Humility is like dumping a gallon after a gallon after a gallon of, of Red Bull into your prayer life. It is, it is giving wings to your prayer life. Pride, on the other hand, and inaccurate, overly high self-esteem, arrogant attitudes, self-praise, effectually, they drown out our prayers like white noise. They choke to death who we are on the inside, who we are spiritually, who we are in Christ, because we begin to puff ourselves up, raise ourselves higher than we ought to be. And God calls us to humility. We have to approach God in faith with humility and meekness and not with smugness, self-importance, or overestimating our own virtues and our own good works. It's not how we do things. It's not how Christ has called us to do things. That's not how Paul explains the lifestyle of the Christian to us here in Ephesians 4.2. But Peter also, 1 Peter 5.5, 5, he says to be clothed with humility. And I think he says this because being clothed with, clothed with humility is better than any expensive garment we can ever purchase. Uh, it is one of those things that makes us a more valued uh, or more valuable Christian because in humility, we know our true worth is found in Christ. So with that said, I'm going to end in a word of prayer. Father God, I come before you today, and I pray for those of us who struggle with humility. Lord, even for myself, I know I struggle with humility. I pray that you remind us who you are and who we are in you, because that is one of the most humbling things we can ever understand. 
Father, I thank you for this. I thank you for this video. I pray you use this to encourage those who watch it. In Jesus' name, amen. God bless you guys. We'll see you Sunday, or we'll see you next week in this video. God bless.